in the lab we're working on uh, uh, a number of cancers of the blood, particularly the myeloid blood cancers, which are acute myeloid leukemia and the myeloproliferative neoplasms. And it turns out that these cancers are formed by rare cells within the cancers called stem cells. And we're looking at a number of experiments in the lab and ways that we can understand where these stem cells come from, how they change from normal blood stem cells, and ways that we can uh, develop new treatments that specifically target these stem cells. And this is really important because when we have patients that have leukemia or other blood cancers, it's these stem cells that are resistant to the types of treatment we normally give in the clinic. And it's also these stem cells that are responsible for the disease coming back or relapsing after treatment, which is a major problem in blood cancers. We found um, in, a, in a very uh, extensive piece of work, we found that there's a, a particular gene called telomerase, and, and this is expressed at a very high level in lots of patients with AML. And what this gene does is it protects the chromosomes or the genetic material of the leukemia cells. And without that gene, the leukemia cells or the leukemia stem cells are not able to survive in the body. And we found that by targeting that, either by getting rid of it at the genetic level or by using a new drug called imetilstat, we're able to prevent the leukemia coming back after chemotherapy, which is obviously a really significant breakthrough for those patients with leukemia. Imetilstat's a brand new drug and it's what we call a small molecule, so it's a, a small uh, drug that can actually get into the bone marrow and get into the, uh, the different areas where the blood stem cells or the leukemia stem cells live. And it binds to this gene called telomerase and it shuts it down, it stops it working. And we find that by combining that particular drug with the chemotherapy, um, it's more effective than just even using that drug by itself or the chemotherapy by itself. Without funding from the Leukemia Foundation and such organisations, the work we do just simply wouldn't be possible and we just wouldn't be able to find these breakthroughs that hopefully will help patients with leukemia.